Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is the 15th video of VMware VCP 5.5 vSphere training and in this video I am going to show you how to deploy VMware distributed switches for vMotion. So as you know vMotion there was uh, many type of vMotion like uh, moving one one virtual machine from one ESX to second ESX is known as a uh, vMotion and second is a storage vMotion which require moving the storage of virtual machine such as like a uh, uh, hard drive and configuration file of virtual machine moving from one data store to other data store is like called storage vMotion so we'll see how to create and deploy distributed switches for vMotion so let's have some idea about my demo environment so as previously I have four virtual four virtual machine in my domain environment the first one is win to get 12 DC01 which is my active directory server if you want to check out here win to get 12 DC01 I have installed active directory and DNS role on this server and my second server is vCenter server which is joined to my domain here you can see my vCenter server I have installed vCenter server on this server also vSphere, vSphere uh, client and vSphere web client so here you can see I have logged in with my vCenter web client and this is my vSphere client so I have logged in on both and I have two ESX host ESX01 and ESX i02 so here it is both ESX host and on my physical so physical machine Starwind is running and providing the ISQC link to my ESX both ESX host you can see from here if I connect to my laptop by Starwind here you can see I have created three loans and connected with the both ESX host ESX1 and ESX2 by multipathing so if you go here you can see I have basically three loans which is coming from my physical machine so here's the three learn learn zero one and two so this is my infrastructure which I am going to do so step by step to create and deploy distributor switch for uh, vMotion so the first thing we need to do add and rename uplink to existing distributor switches so in last video I have created my First distributors in distributors in, in my in, uh, VMware infrastructure. If you want to check out, there was options. Click on host and cluster. Either we can go to networks. So I'm going on network. Here is my uh, distributor switch, which is Prod D switch, which is my production switch distributor. Switch. And this I'm going to add one port group. So click here you can see create a new distributed port group so I'm going to add the port group so before doing this the first task we need to add modify which is I did the uh, if you want to check you can check add and rename uplink to existing distributors so this is my distributor and I'm going to make it 4 to 6 because as you can see four switch four port as you two for management and two for NIC uh, two for uh, VM network so I have added um, a modified to six and now you can see we have total we have total six port and this production switch here you can see six and I'm going to rename it call it v motion 0 1 the first one and the second one is v motion 2 click ok ok just refresh it so here you can see v motion 1 and 2 so we have added ports and rename rename the port and uh, the next task is create a new switch port for port group which is DSWV v motion so I'm going to create it we have two port groups and I'm going to add a new port group here new dip distributor switch group so DSW 
vmotion click next and I'm going to leave the default option like elastic and number of ports which it start from A click next and just click on finish so by default we have created our distributor switch uh, for V motion but you can see all the nicks are uh, mapped with this so you can see assign uplink to distributor switch port group so need to do this so go here and click the small icon button which is edit and from here go to teaming and failover and I want to exclude all the management and VM network ports so there was two next which need to be vmotion1 and vmotion2 click apply just refresh it so now you can see vmotion01 and vmotion2 two neck are mapped with a double switch DS D switch V motion and now we have done with this so the next task is create VM kernel network adapter on both ESX hosts so one by one we need to do this so go to host and select the first host and go to network we have option here and just either you can do it from here or you can do it from go to manage and networking and here we have all the next available and switches so I'm going to add here add host networking and I want to create a VM kernel network adapter here for vmotion so just give it some some time Just wait to refresh it. So we are on ESX01. VM. I, I want to create one VM kernel network adapter. Click next. And here we have select existing distributed switch port group or select existing standard. So I want to create uh, map this with existing distributed port group. And here we have we have option of distributor switch vmotion which we have just created select ok and click on next so here we have option enable services so I am going to take here vmotion traffic because we are, are going to use for a vmotion and I am going to assign a IP address 192.168.1.1 you can see 231 on the diff subnet mask 255 which I am using default subnet mask and click next and here is the all option click on phoenix so it will, it will create one switch here you vmotion adding virtual nick to select vnet so it's done and here you, you can see we have one one switch created vm kernel port the ip address is defined which we have just created same i want to create on my esx02 click on add button add hardware click next vm kernel port 
here we have to select the VM kernel port and select the vmotion port group click next and now we have to select vmotion traffic click next and provide the IP address v4 IP 192.168.1.232 which I'm going to use and the default subnet mask click next and finish so it's adding virtual NIC to double switch V motion it will take some time So we are done with create VM kernel network adapter on both ESXOs. Let's verify it one more time. Here you can see on ESX1 we have one kernel port and vMotion switch. On ESX2 we have also one port for vMotion. You can check out from here. So both the both are configured IP address is configured and now the next task is deploy VM distributed switch on both ESX host for this we have to go to networks and we have small icon here for add host to distribution switch and just go for, for now adding the additional uh, distributed port group we need to create click on add host and manage host network advance option click next and here we have two option new host or attached host so both ESX hosts are already attached so I am going to click on attached hosts so here we have both hosts select the hosts click ok and click next and for this we have to click on manage virtual uh, virtual uh, VM kernel port and manage physical adapter click next and here we have I'm going to assign my 6 and 7 port to sign up link vmotion1 and the 7th port is assigned for vmotion2 and same I'm going to do on my second host Sign up link and assign 7 to up link. Okay. So you can see vMotion is assigned for left nick and I'm not going to uh, touch my vSwitch1 which is ISKC adapter. So here you can see here we have management do not migrate and this so seems everything good if you want to assign port group here you can see the source and used by it's already defined so nothing need to be changed here just click on next and now it's analyzing the impact there was no impact on ISKC good to know click next and click on finish So managing host network on distribution switches. So you can see update network configuration one and two both are done. So if you go on ESX, both is updated here. So it seems have everything good and verify V motion distributions are not on both which is our last step so on ESX2 we can see our VM vMotion distributors and one as well as so we have successfully deployed our uh, vMotion switches distributors to both ESX hosts 
and thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this please post me on my given mail, uh, given mail id and in next video i'm going to show you how to do migration v migration virtual machine migration storage migration and all thank you once again bye bye